Hi, it's Jane from craftwithjane.co.uk today. And today I'm bringing you this really cute little gift box. It's like a little favor box and I've created my own DSP with this. Um, I'm filming um, in a different room, so I apologize if you can hear some background noise for the traffic. So I'm quite close to the road in this room. So um, yeah, I've used the stamp set, um, Bows and Blossoms for this, which is lovely. And I've used this flower here as the main, uh, the main focus of my um, own DSP uh, for the lid. Um, and I just think it looks lovely. I've chosen to use the um, in colours, uh, Just Jade and Bumblebee, because these in colours have only got a couple of months left in the catalogue. And then we'll, um, they'll be retiring and we'll be getting some new um, in colours for 2022 to 2024. So I thought I would um, showcase them because they are beautiful colours and in particular I do love this Just Jade and I do love the Bumblebee as well. So without further ado. Okay so this is the bottom, the base of the box um, and I've chosen to use Bumblebee for this and this measures seven inches by six inches and I'm going to score it along the two inch line on all four sides. There we go. And that then creates a nice little easy pattern here. So I will um, get out my paper snips and I will make uh, the base of the box before I do anything else. So I'll just get my paper snips out here. And I'm just going to cut along the line here. And as you know, I, I'll often cut before I burnish. So I'm gonna cut along these here. And I'm going to trim into them and I'm then going to cut them down because uh, they're very long and because of the depth of the box. And I'll cut them down to about here, just like that. And I'll do the same on this side. And I'm going to do that both sides. And that then means that when I come to glue them, they will um, be able to fit. And I'll do exactly the same on this side. So has anybody got any particular favourite colours from the in colour range? So as I said, this uh, 2020 to 2022 colour family will be leaving, departing us. And we'll get some new in colours. It's quite a nice little, um, cute little refresh. Every, every year because we have a family, they overlap a two year period, but we get one every year because there's two running at the same time. So, so that's just here. I'm gonna get my bone folder out and I'm gonna burnish. So this is a nice um, little treat box. It sort of could work as a, you could make it any size you wanted to. Um, I've, got a, I've got a gift in mind for this one, which is why it's this size. Uh, some very nice jewellery is going to be uh, gifted, bracelet and earrings in this little set here. So this is the template for the base of the box just here. And I am going to use um, my tear and tape for this. You could use any glue you want. I, I often alternate the glues that I choose to use. So tear and tape is one of the ones I use. You could use your glue for this. I'm going to use my glue on the box lid. Um, my um, liquid glue, uh, or you could use your runners, your tape, uh, your stamp and seal, or your stamp and seal plus. So stamp and seal plus works really well um, for uh, 3D projects as well because it's got that really strong adhesive. There we go. So just going to get my pick tool then to take away all of the. All of the backings on these press them all down so yeah this is this comes with the you have a gingham ribbon in both the just jade um, and the bumblebee the bumblebee one's a little bit of a thinner ribbon than the just jade one the just jade one comes in a my absolute oops sorry these are not wanting to come off sorry if you can see my head in that it's just staring over it so um the just jade one comes in a set of three ribbons. 
Uh, it comes with like a blue and white and silver uh, thread and this absolutely gorgeous sort of cotton uh, white ribbon as well. So yeah, lovely, very um, economical trio of ribbons. There you go. So you can see just inside there that I have cut them so that um, you can, they don't overlap because you don't want to add too much bulk to the inside of your box. Now, it wouldn't matter if it overlapped, you could do that if you wanted to, but I prefer it not to. So, just going to use my bone folder to make sure those are down nice, both sides, and voila, we have the base of the box here. So for the top of the box, I have cut a piece of um, thick white cardstock and this measures five by six inches. And I'm gonna get out my Bumblebee ink just here. And I've picked out the same image, but I'm gonna stamp it in Bumblebee now. Oops, sorry. And I'm just gonna go around, just stamping my pattern. Uh, any which way, I'm going to slightly angle and turn the picture of the flower. It sort of has a two-tone effect, this bumblebee, uh, which I nice. It sort of gives the flower some depth. And I'll just do this all along the paper. Sorry, the cardstock to create my my version of a designer series paper. Um, this just makes a lovely, lovely personalized. There you go. So I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so this is my, um, my own stamped uh, cardstock. I'm gonna use this piece of white here as a shim and I'm going to um, score it at one and a half on all four sides. So a shim is a piece of cardstock you put in place when you know you're making a box lid, um, or for other projects as well, but this is to allow the, um, it to overlap, to fit on top of the um, bottom of the box, basically. So I've scored that at one and a half on all four sides, just there, I think you can see. And basically, because I want this to to fit snugly on top of this box, I used this shim, which would replicate one of the sides here. So it's just a tiny bit um, bigger uh, to fit over that. So I'm gonna do my cutting like I did before. So I'm gonna cut up this edge here, and then I'm gonna cut in and I'm gonna cut in just here. And I'll trim it down a little bit as well. Same here. Cut a nice straight line. There you go, nice straight line. Nice uh, sort of mitre in there. And then cut it about here. So the straight line you want is just here and here because that's gonna form the side of your box. You do want that to be as straight as possible within reason because this is a handmade project. So it's absolutely fine for there to be, you know, a little bit of uh, personality to the, to the box because that's the beauty. It's not made by a machine, it's made by your hands to gift to somebody that you care about. There you go and just here. And then I'm gonna use some liquid glue for this bit because I would like to make it to fit around the box. So once I've burnished, which I'll do now, just here like this, I'll burnish all these sides and then I'm gonna use some liquid glue. So I just noticed where I've snipped it, uh, left a tiny little bit of paper just there, a little bit of um, a little bit of fluff. So I'm going to go and neaten it all up. Just check each one. Yep, they look fine. Lovely. So um, that is the template 
for your box again. So I've got my liquid glue, so I think I'll just glue one end to start with. And I will sort of glue this, start to glue this in place. And then I'll get my box out and just do it around my box. So it's like that. So, and then I will hold it in place around my box. So I know that it fits. And I'm just gonna hold that in place for a little while and allow that to pick up and dry. And then I'll do the same on this end. So I'll pop a little bit of glue on both of these ends just here. And then I'll bring this up and I'll pop that into place as well. Just allow that a little bit of time to dry, holding it in place. Okay, so my box lid is now dry, so I'm just gonna pop it on top and it gives a lovely vacuum feel um, because um, I've made the box around there and I've got my bumblebee gingham ribbon just here. I have already cut off some, so I'll just see if this uh, if this fits. I'm not sure if it's gonna give me a bow, but I'll have a go. So a little, a little go here. Yeah, it might, might be just enough, I think. So I will um, put that to one side and I'm just gonna show you the tag that I've made. So I've used this tag punch here and I've done it at uh, one and a half inches. So I've got a strip of the bumblebee and I've got a strip of the white and I've stamped in bumblebee the thank you sentiment from the Bowers and Blossoms um, stamp set. And I've just stamped that there. Uh, and um, to make the little punch hole just here, I've just there, I have used the trio punch and I've just used that one here, which you just put pop in like that. I turn it over, make sure I'm in the place I want to be. I normally put a dot in the center. I didn't with this one, so it's slightly off. But I normally put a dot in the center. I turn it over, work out where I want to be. And then I punch that little shape. So I shall put this, I think, like this, just here. And then I will try my best to do my bow. Let's see. Let's see if this works, shall we? Actually, I think I might need to put it on the bottom one. So I do normally tie this on the spool and then trim it so I don't have too much wastage, but I happen to have this from a previous project left over. Uh, so my bow is facing the wrong way, but you know what, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this into the place that I want it to have my cute bow just like that with my little thank you just sentiment just there and then i'm going to pop some jewels on my little box just here so these are the actual 2021 to 2023 in colors which are the ones that run over to next year and i'm going to use the yellow out of this although it's not an exact match i felt like it was close enough that i was happy with it and i do love a little bit of sparkle so i'm just going to pop uh, one of the slightly larger ones on and I'll probably put the little one next to it. Then they've got these cute little ones, they're gorgeous. And I just thought that complemented it enough. There we go. So these are my super sweet little designer, my own sort of designer series um, paper, uh, gift, little mini gift boxes. It could be used as little favor boxes as well. So I do um, hope that you've enjoyed watching today and I hope you've crafted along with me. It always gives me joy to think that you may have done that. Um, if anyone is interested in any of the products, please follow the links below. I do put links to my Stampin' Up! Um, shop because um, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator for the UK. 
And if you don't already have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I'd be delighted if you shopped with me. I do always send out a thank you card um, for each purchase. And if you use my host code and you have a qualifying order, I send you out gifts as well the following month uh, to thank you for your custom. Um, my customers are always very gratefully receive them. I get lots of lovely emails back and cards back to thank me, um, which is um, a sheer delight because um, I do enjoy enjoy sharing these uh, the wonderful products um, that Stampin' Up make and the colour coordination as has been demonstrated so well here is phenomenal really and one of my favourite things about Stampin' Up. So um, yeah, follow the links below if you are interested in purchasing any anything from me. So I'm going to say um, bye for now and um, thank you for watching and happy crafting.